Utah supervolcanoes discovered, Wawa Springs, the world's biggest super eruption, over 30 million years old. This is Brigham Young University research. Brigham Young University geologists found evidence of some of the largest volcanic eruptions in Earth's history right in their own backyard. These supervolcanoes are not active today, but 30 million years ago, more than 5,500 cubic kilometers of magma erupted during a one-week period, one week, seven days, near the place called Wawa Springs. By comparison, this eruption was about 5,000 times larger than the 1980 Mount St. Helens volcano eruption. In southern Utah, deposits from this single eruption are 13,000 feet thick. And you can imagine, there's mountains full of ash. This is what Eric Christensen said. He's a lead author for the Brigham Young University study. He said, imagine the devastation. It would have been catastrophic to anything living within hundreds of miles. So you can imagine all these, all this, all these mountains everywhere. I mean, even in Europe, you have mountains that look like very fine ash. You can cut them. You can cut the mountain with your key, the car key. You're saying, "What is this? Why is it so soft?" Mountains are so soft, obviously, because they're they're volcanic ash. Now, in southern Utah, deposits from this single single eruption are thirteen thousand feet thick. Dinosaurs were already extinct during this time, thirty million years ago. They weren't extinct sixty six million years ago. But what many people don't know is that 25 to 30 million years ago, North America was home to rhinos, camels, tortoises, and even palm trees. Evidence of the ancient flora and fauna was preserved by volcanic deposits. The research group, headed by Christensen and Professor Emeritus Myron Best, measured the thickness of the pyroclastic flow deposits. They used radiometric dating, X-ray fluorescence, spectrometry, and chemical analysis of the minerals to verify that the volcanic ash was all from the same ancient super eruption. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. They found that the Wawa Springs eruption buried a vast region extending from central Utah to central Nevada and from Fillmore on the north to Cedar City to on the south. They even found traces of ash as far away as Nebraska. But this was not an isolated event. Brigham Young University geologists found evidence of 15, 15 super eruptions and 20 large calderas. The scientific journal Geosphere recently published two of their papers detailing the discoveries. And despite their enormous size, the supervolcanoes have been hidden in plain sight for millions of years. The ravages of erosion and later deformation have largely erased them from the landscape, but for care, our careful work has uh, revealed their details, said Christensen. The sheer magnitude of this required years of work and involvement of dozens of students in putting this story together. Supervolcanoes are different from the more familiar strata volcanoes like Mount St. Helens because they are not as obvious to the naked eye as they affect enormous areas. Supervolcanoes, as we've seen, are some of the Earth's largest volcanic edifices, and yet they don't stand as high cones. They are at the heart of the supervolcano instead is a large collapse. Those collapses and supervolcanoes occur with the eruption and form enormous holes in the ground and plateaus known as calderas. Not many people know that there are still active supervolcanoes today. Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, is home to one roughly the same size as Wawa Springs Caldera, which is about 25 miles across, three miles deep, when it was first formed. And uh, according to... Uh, these Brigham Young University geologists, the uh, the uh, it produced the super eruption produced thousands of cu uh, cubic kilometers of pyroclastic flows on the, Nev the Utah Nevada border, piecing together geologic evidence from 
five different mountain ranges across hundreds of miles. They report in geosphere the discovery of the massive 30 million year old supervolcano in Utah. The ancient caldera would have been several miles deep, is no longer visible because it's been eroded and filled with pyroclastic flow many years ago. The original Wawa Spring pyroclastic deposit associated with the caldera covered an area of 12,000 square miles and had a volume of 5,900 cubic kilometers or about 6,000 times the size of Mount St. Helens eruption. The researchers report that this is one of the largest documented supervolcanoes worldwide. With a list of the largest volcanic eruptions in the world, the super eruptions, Earth's largest eruptions could have major regional global impacts, with some affecting the climate as we know and causing mass extinction events, widespread rapid decrease of biodiversity, fauna and flora, Volcanic eruptions generally characterized as either explosive eruptions or effusive eruptions, lava. And uh, they probably have been much, uh, there have probably been many such eruptions in Earth history as we know. Now, uh, let's go to the listing. Now, we notice that here's Wawa Springs about 30 million years ago. And they go by age, location, and volume. We see that there are bigger volumes here, here, uh, here, 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 but the nature of these eruptions are still disputed. Again, here, Santa Maria Fria. Again, the nature of eruption is still disputed. Uh, this one here, the nature is still disputed in uh, 7,600 uh, kilometers. And this one here, volume includes distal tufts. And then we have the Wawa Springs. This is a Lake Toba eruption. So this is Wawa Springs in Utah, Nevada border, Indian Peak, Caldera Complex, 5,500 to 5,900, the largest of the Indian Peak Caldera Complex and includes flows of over 13,000 feet thick. And remember that they told us this was all done in seven days. And then you have this one here. Nature is still disputed. Um, so the other ones are smaller, as we can see. OK, Yellowstone Caldera. This is, was the one that was 2 million years ago, one of the largest Yellowstone eruptions. And uh, going back to the bottom, New Mexico Emery Caldera was smaller. And Tapo Volcano of New Zealand, that was uh, 27,000 years ago. This is the most recent VEI-8 eruption. OK, that was, uh, again, a VEI-8 eruption because it was over 1,000 cubic kilometers. So that was a mass extinction event. And uh, they estimated, the anthropologists estimated that from the Tapo supervolcanic eruption, the super eruption, only about 2,000 human couples were left worldwide. That's, that was another major mass extinction event. And going back down, Yellowstone, this one was the 630 or 640,000 years ago. Uh, a large eruption, Yellowstone National Park. That's the last uh, super eruption that we had in Yellowstone, even though we had a lava flow eruption 70,000 years ago, and another 80 eruptions since then. And uh, San Juan, volcanic field, Mount Princeton, where's that? Colorado, okay. I didn't even know that. Helped cause the exceptional preservation of fluorescent fossil beds. Now, I didn't even know this was Rocky Mountains in North America, okay. Uh, that was another super eruption. I have to look into that because I didn't even know that was there. The Rocky Mountains, 14,000 feet tall, located near San Isabel National Forest. Okay. So, um, a few eruptions that we said and explosive eruptions. And uh, these are also big. Australia, Spain, 
Columbia River Basalt Group. And that's around um, west of Yellowstone. The youngest, smallest one, best preserved continental flood basalt province on Earth. Mainly eastern Oregon, Washington, western Idaho. So that's just west of Yellowstone. These were also big, as we can see. Volume in kilometers. Volume in kilometers. Okay. Volume in kilometers. These were also big. All having to do with the Columbia River Basalt Group. Right again, it's uh, west of you know in the Idaho area, west of uh, Yellowstone. And if you see the uh, videos before this one, they found mantle rock plume extending from Yellowstone uh, under the uh, Cascade volcanoes in Northern California. Now I, I posted that because we want to be able to refer to that, even though it's not a recent study. Uh, but it's about, what, uh, 10 years old, whatever. And uh, we have to keep that in mind, that the mantle plume from Yellowstone goes all the way down to the west coast, west to the west coast. And these things here were all super eruptions as well. Okay, so that was about 15,000 years ago, as the Yellowstone uh, uh, area was moving towards the northeast all this Columbia River Basalt Group, okay? That was the uh, Snake River Plain, again up here. Snake River Plain. All this has to do with Yellowstone. The large igneous provinces around the world, of course, we know those were all super eruptions as well. Tremendous amount of uh, ash. Igneous provinces, body of Earth, split into three widely separated oceanic plateaus. And this one here, 112 million years ago, North Atlantic province. This is, uh, of course, the UK. North Atlantic Indigenous province. I didn't even know that was there. So a lot of volcanoes, of course, shaped our tectonics. So uh, please leave your comments on this. Thank you for your support.